Hi Capricorn, this is Eileen with your December 2017 Psychic Tarot card reading. And we're starting the month out with the Nine of Cups. And this is a great card to start your month with, the Nine of Cups. And Cups representing emotions and feelings and uh, love. And um, the Nine of Cups now, this is also known as the Wish Card. And it does relate to um, emotional um, fulfillment, to being happy in your home life and your relationships, uh, material comforts. Just it, it, it relates to having a lot of prosperity and abundance and love and um, being in a celebratory mood and celebrating all that you're all that you're grateful for and all your good fortune. So this is a, a, a great card for Capricorn to start out the month of December with. Now, ironically, we go to the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords having to do with oh feeling defeated, feeling just disillusioned, and maybe some of you are just heartbroken over something, perhaps uh, in the way of uh, something ending in your life, in the way of a relationship, or getting something about a job situation where maybe something didn't work out for someone in the job, in their job, and they may have either lost their job or... Um, something just crumbled it crumbled some people someone may have had a business that they were trying to get off the ground and it just didn't go well it just can't get off the ground and they feel like they failed or something um let me see what else i'm getting because i'm reading the meanings of the cards but i'm also tuning in on a psychic level to see what i'm tuning into for particular individuals let's see now, this is, for some of you, I do feel like this is representing relationships that just came to an end. And um, I feel like there's someone who has a relationship that it might still be going on right now. And um, they're just feeling like it's over. They're really mad at the other person or fed up or something like that and just feeling like it's over. And almost like they want to get revenge on the person or something. That's what I'm getting. But that's, I don't know who that is. I'm tuning into one person not with that issue, I think. Okay, but then otherwise, for others of you, I do feel something relating to money and work work circumstances that's coming out through through this. Yeah, I am thinking it's got something to do for someone. This might be more than one person that's had some kind of a work situation that's come to an end. And, um, I mean, in some cases, you might be really disillusioned and disappointed, but I do feel like there's going to be a renewal coming. So for whoever's had some endings, and maybe it was heartbreaking or upsetting or dis just traumatizing for some of you, um, I feel like you will be able to get back up again. You're going to have some uh, fresh new beginnings. That's what I'm feeling like. So, so this isn't quite as terrible as it might appear to be. And then the next one we have is the Eight of Swords. And again, these swords and everything, just stressful, upsetting circumstances. And with the Eight of Swords, you'll see she's not, the swords are not touching her. This represents more fear, you know, fear of worst case scenarios and worrying and not knowing which way to go. And if someone lost their job or a relationship just ended here and you're just not knowing which way to turn, that could be what's going on here for some of you. But I feel like this is temporary. So, and I feel like you do have control of the situation. At the moment, you might just not be feeling like it. So, um, you just need to take back your own power. This is what I'm getting. And I'm getting this in a relationship sense for someone where you've been in a relationship. You might, I feel somebody is in a relationship with someone and they're not happy. It's not going well. They're feeling like, um, See, I feel like I'm tuning into a female and she might be married or living with someone or something like that. It's a close relationship. She's been very close with her partner and she feels like he's not, maybe he's not being true to her or something or that he doesn't love her like he used to or something along those lines. 
And I feel like if you're being treated that way, you need to take your own power back and assert yourself and remind yourself that you're a good quality person. You deserve love. You deserve to be um, appreciated and um, and decide for yourself, you know, take charge of your own circumstances as much as you can, because you do have the power to do this. So it's just at the moment you feel restricted. And I think this is fear holding you back at the moment and just uh, feeling like maybe you're all alone dealing with a situation. But I feel like you can come out of this and do well for yourself. I really do. I feel like you have everything you need to just um, get strong just be strong, get strong as a result of these circumstances and, and create a better life for yourself. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And then next we have the 10 of cups and the 10 of cups is a pretty happy card. This does relate to having a lot of happiness and prosperity in your life. And this relates to a happy marriage, a happy family life. So I feel like those of you, to me, this is a good progression. Look, something has ended badly. Someone's restricted by fear of the unknown and feeling insecure, like that maybe they can't make it on their own, or maybe they don't know what to do, which way to turn. And then this is showing us that uh, there's a lot of good things to come for you, okay? There's a new relationship, or it might be a new job, because this is relating to prosperity and love and having balance in your life, having a, just having all the good things in life, both on a material level and uh, relationships and love and healing. It's just, um, it's, it, you know, a committed relationship of love or marriage, happy home life. So this is a very good omen for a lot of you, and especially whoever's been going through these really traumatizing times that this shows there's hope. There's uh, a lot of good waiting to happen for you, even if you're not seeing it in your life right now. And for others of you, you might already be experiencing this. And um, in December, you might already be experiencing part of that now. So, um, so it's a good message. It's a good message for you, Capricorn, for December. Okay, and then let's see. Oh, and I'm getting also on a relationship note here. This just popped out. Okay, I feel like someone is going to be proposing marriage to someone who's watching the video. There's going to be a, they may have already proposed. Somebody may have just gotten engaged. Either they just got engaged or, or they're proposed to in December. This could relate to more than one person. So uh, I do feel some some commitments of uh, marriage or long term or love and that kind of thing coming for some of you in December. So that's good. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Wands, and with the Eight of Wands, this indicates progress quickly, quick movement. And the wands uh, represent the fire signs of Aries and Leo and Sagittarius and quick movements and action and just taking charge and things moving ahead. So for a number of you, if things have been stuck or things have been going slow, and I was getting over here with this Ten of Swords that somebody may either lock have lost their job or they're losing their job. Something comes to an end for maybe a few people. And maybe um, from that point, you're not knowing what to do and feeling, you know, kind of um, vulnerable. And uh, in the way of a job situation coming up, this could all of a sudden mean you're offered a new job or there's some new opportunity. And for some of you, I feel like it's a new opportunity in, in the way of moving to a different location. Some of you may have been looking for a home to move to and having a hard time and maybe things have been going slow in that area or feeling like you just can't find what you want. Or maybe you've been waiting on money to come through, to pay, to finance a new move or something. And it's like all of a sudden it's coming through for you and everything's moving forward. So this is, uh, it just shows action. It shows things pushing ahead in the month of December. 
So I feel like it's uh, for different people, depending on circumstances. For some, it's in the way of work that's coming your way, a new job, uh, career opportunities. For others, it has to do with moving or relocation. And I also even feel that for some of you in the relationship department, if you've been in a relationship that seems to be kind of in slow motion and dragging along and not really going anywhere. It's like all of a sudden things get moving. Some of, <laughs> I just get all of a sudden somebody planning a trip all of a sudden. Some of you might make last minute plans, maybe over the holidays or something like, hey, hey, let's go take a trip to whatever, Hawaii or Europe or I don't know where. Just uh, all of a sudden plans, all of a sudden you're throwing stuff together, making your reservations. So, um, so okay, so that's good for a lot of you. It's things moving, moving forward. Okay, and then next we have the Eight of Cups. And let's see, with the Eight of Cups. Now this is indicating um, someone who has had a lot already, and but becoming disenchanted, disillusioned with whatever they had. Kind of like if maybe they've outgrown it. And I feel like for some of you, for some of you, this is relating to relationships. And for others, I feel like it's relating to maybe a job, maybe work you've been doing, someplace you've been working, or whether it's a career you've been in or a particular job you've been at. And maybe it's been good for you overall, but you kind of feel like you deserve more. You want more. You want something better. Um, almost like it's run its course and you're ready to move on and you're looking out over the horizon. And uh, you might have come to a conclusion that it's just not getting you where you want to go or it's not, uh, maybe you're just not enjoying the work anymore like you used to or it could be too for some of you. I feel like in the workplace, there's been some things that were said or happened or disagreements with people around you. Not that it was anything bad or terrible, just things that have kind of turned you off a little bit. And it's almost like you're looking out over the horizon and thinking, I don't know, I'm kind of finished with this place in a way. I, if I'm looking out to see what else is out there. I think I deserve better. I want to feel better. I want to be uplifted. I want to step up a bit. And so for some of you, you're just kind of moving on, on to better, better times and better circumstances. And I do feel like there are better things waiting for you. That's what I feel like. And now with some of you also, I feel like this is in the relationship area where maybe you've been having been in a relationship that just you, you just realized it hasn't fulfilled you and you deserve a lot better than that. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter of. For those of you I'm talking to that this has to do with your work, or for those I'm talking to it might have to do with a, a romantic relationship, I'm getting the strong feeling that you know inside that you are stronger and better than some situation you've been in, some relationship or work situation. You deserve a whole lot more. You're capable of having a whole lot better, and you have every intention of having better for yourself. And because of this inner knowing that you have, and this, I just get this inner strength and confidence with you, that you're going to have a lot better is what I'm feeling like. So whether you're moving on to another job, it's like you're going to get that better job that you want that pays more and that maybe you're rewarded better or treated better or don't have the petty gossip going on as much or something. It's just going to be better conditions for you and you're going to be elevated somehow and feel better and want to do better because of the elevated circumstances that you, you get yourself into. And for those of you that are moving on to a new relationship, even if you haven't met that person yet, I feel like you're attract you're going to attract that person to you because you're not willing to settle for less. And because of that, you're going to be, I just feel you're going to be drawn to someone else. They're going you're going to be drawn to each other kind of like in a magnetic manner. It's going to be because it like attracts like. And so you will meet that other person if you haven't met them already. I feel like in some cases, some of you who are leaving a relationship, you already met the person. 
you're going to go to be with is what I feel like. You know them maybe as a friend or a coworker or something. You know them already, and you're you're stepping in that direction. Even if you don't go straight to the relationship, you're kind of getting yourself more around them somehow by leaving the uh, relationship that has not fulfilled you. So overall, again, I'm getting progress, forward movement in December. There's a lot of progress for Capricorn in December. Okay. And then next we have the Three of Wands. And Wands, again, that relates to the fire signs, to action, uh, work. Let's see. Um, so what we're finding out here with the Three of Wands is that you have been making progress. There's been progress in your work or in some projects you're working on. And that basically what it's telling you is to stay on course and keep staying on your path, looking ahead, planning, moving forward, um, you know, continue to make your plans, adjust your plans as you need to. It's like you're on a steady course and um, a lot of you know it, but you're, some of you I feel like are feeling your way around. Almost like you're, maybe you're in the middle of changing jobs or even changing residences or, um, you know, moving in one way or another. There's movement going on and you're kind of feeling your way to uh, and making adjustments as you go and continuing to lay out your plans. And I feel like Capricorn is so good at all this anyway. They're very solid. They like to make sure they, they're on solid ground. They build a firm foundation for themselves. They plan. They're always thinking. Capricorns are just very good in the material areas of life as far as making money and laying the groundwork for themselves and building a foundation for themselves and laying out a, a course for themselves and making adjustments along the way if they need to. They're very good with their intellect and with their planning and uh, very strong. Capricorns are very strong. And so um, I just feel like, and, and that's an earth sign, the earth signs, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they just have a lot of that with them that just innate, these innate abilities and, and strengths that they have to follow through on their plans. And if they find they need to change, fine, but they're not, they don't like to jump around and hop around a lot. They like to kind of stay steady and make uh, almost like make their plans good plans to begin with. But uh, if they need to make changes, they will. So this is basically saying you're making progress, stay on your course or keep planning and keep moving forward that you're doing you're doing really um, well going forward as it is. Okay. And then the next card that we have is the Fool. And the Fool is a great card. It's a, a major arcana, a destiny card. And the Fool indicates that um, you might have some unexpected opportunities that show up in your lives in December, Capricorn. And um, you could have some new beginnings. Some of you might be off to starting a new project or a new business enterprise of some kind, some kind of a new venture. And uh, this is, um, the Fool represents um, um, innate abilities and talents that, um, you know, you, you have a lot inside of you that's waiting to come out, waiting to come out for the world to see. And it's, um, uh, this is, it's a good omen. This is a very good omen, the, the Fool. It's kind of like, you might be taking a risk. You might be taking a risk in one way or another, whether you're um, moving into maybe a new job or a new career or starting a new business of some kind, or, or some of you might be picking up and moving to another city because you are interested in some opportunities that might be presented to you there. And so it's like you don't see everything that's going to happen in front of you, but it's almost like you're having faith anyway. And you're, you know, you're taking a chance on something, taking a chance on life in one way or another on yourself. So, and knowing Capricorns, they're not going to do something blindly anyway. They're going to, uh, if they take a risk, it's most likely going to be a calculated risk. So they're going to 
probably have already done a lot of research and um, uh, done a lot of the information gathering and that sort of thing. So they feel like if they when they take a risk, uh, they've got the odds in their favor anyway, and hopefully they do. But great card to have, great destiny card. So um, let's see, for some new beginnings and, and um, future success for you in a new project. Okay. And then next we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant typically refers to, um, well, it can refer to religious figures or spirituality, religious institutions, or sometimes government institutions. But um, let's see what I'm getting here. So for some of you, I feel like you might be really delving into your own spirituality in December. Now, I do feel for a number of you, a lot of times this refers to speaking to someone and getting guidance on maybe from a religious leader or a spiritual leader that you look up to, getting guidance, getting inspiration, getting advice. And um, let me see what else I'm getting here. You know what I'm feeling like, though? I'm wondering if some of you are getting married in front of whether it be like a, um, a priest or a rabbi or some religious figure that you're getting married in front of in December. That's what I'm getting. Some of you going up to the altar or going up you know, and, and being married in December. This might just be one person I'm looking at, but I'm feeling something about going in front of someone to um, uh, to get married. So this is good. Yeah. So, but uh, for a number of you, I do feel like it's combining your religion that you grew up with with your own spirituality that um, you've um, included in your life and had been have been working on over the years and just becoming a, a much more spiritual person, but still not completely letting go of your um, your religion that you may have grown up with. So okay, another major arcana card. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, now Cups representing emotions and feelings, and the Cups do relate to the water signs such as Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. And um, let me see what I'm getting here. I am feeling like someone, you know what I'm feeling? I feel like some of you, Capricorn in the month of December, you might be feeling a little more of that cups energy, more of the emotional side, because a lot of times the earth signs are not overly emotional. They're more practical and logical thinking, and uh, things are pretty much in black and white with them. They're, they're not... Um, I, I don't know. They, they, they're different from the water signs in that way. Just everything's very... Um, solid and they like to have their feet on the ground and don't want to have their head in the cl clouds or whatever. And cups re do represent the emotions and someone become being more emotional and more in touch with their um, inner feelings and their intuition and things like that. And I'm feeling a lot of you might be experiencing a little more uh, emotional feelings in, um, in the month of December. And uh, maybe feeling a little sentimental about some things in your life. And let's see what else I'm getting here. I'm See, I'm getting a pregnancy. Somebody's pregnant in December. And, uh, okay, so here, whoever it is I'm seeing here that's pregnant in December, I'm feeling like she's being a little, um, a little bit emotional. But, I mean, that's normal anyway when you're pregnant. Let's see. I mean, part of the time anyway. Sensitive. I'm getting a lot of sensitivity. So I'm feeling like a number of you might be embracing some of the the um, traits of the Queen of Cups in December. Let's see what else I'm getting here. And now for some of you, this could relate to another person that fits this kind of a description who's sensitive and compassionate and caring and a little, you know, intuitive and um, 
sometimes might feel seem a little bit detached. Some of you might be interacting with someone like this or have a relationship with someone like this in December also. But I feel like a number of you are going to be just being a little bit, feeling a little more um, in tune that way, a little more sensitive or emotional. Have um, Just embrace some of those traits in December. And I'm also feeling like someone here, let me see what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting the sense of someone who's missing someone that um, they haven't seen in a while. They're lonely. Someone who's, I think someone whose mate is traveling, who's away. And they're kind of, I don't know, just looking forward to this person coming back. In some cases, it could be, they might not really be that far away. It could be some kind of a separation that's been going on. And they want, they're thinking about them a lot. And I am feeling like you're getting back together with this person. I don't feel like it's a permanent um, separation. It feels like you're getting back together because I feel love there. Yeah, so that's good. Okay. All right, and let's see. Now, Capricorn, what I'm going to do next. Oh, and this deck here, this is the um, Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. And uh, what I'm going to do next is pick three cards from the um, Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So I want to shuffle these a little bit. And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel so that you will be getting notified when new videos get posted. And be sure and check your rising and moon signs also as they come available. And let's see. So I want three cards for Capricorn for the month of December 2017. December 2017 for Capricorn. Oh, and um, if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. And also, I welcome your comments. If you'd like to leave a comment, I welcome any comments that you have. Let's see. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to take three cards now. What are our messages for the from the fairy tarot cards for December for Capricorn? Okay, this one here. Five of Autumn. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for a career change. Feeling challenged by money issues. Okay, so if some of you are feeling challenged by money issues, but I feel like um, there's a lot of good things coming your way actually. Okay, let's see. Eight of Summer. The desire for a more meaningful life. Realizing that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life changes. Yeah, I'm getting more of that, that theme in this reading. People making some big changes in their lives that are going to lead to something for the better. Okay, and one more here. Okay, this is the 10 of summer, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. Well, I like that. Well, that ties in with 10 of cups and some other good cards that we had here. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to take three cards from the um, messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. So I'll take three cards from this deck. Let me shuffle these a bit. Let's see. Okay, so we want messages for Capricorn, December 2017. Capricorn for December 2017. What messages do the angels have for Capricorn for December? Okay, let's see here. All right. Wait. Okay, Isabella, 
Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Okay, I like that because I'm getting something about people making new beginnings here. Okay. Next, we have Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. Well, that ties in here with the Hierophant card. So that's good. Okay, great message there. And one more. Okay, Archangel Gabriel. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Okay, I love that. All right, and then we want one more message that I'm going to get from the, okay, Nature's Whispers Cards by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall. Nature's Whispers. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. Okay, let me shuffle these. Let's see. Okay. What are the what's the message for Capricorn for December 2017? What's the message for Capricorn December 2017? These cards are a little more difficult for me to shuffle and pick one out. They seem to stick together a little more, but they are the newest deck that I have too, so that could have something to do with that. Okay, Capricorn for December 2017. Okay, and one card. Okay, Assurance. I don't know if you can see this image very well. They're just gorgeous cards. The detailed artwork is beautiful. Not the lighting's any better in one place or another. Okay, number 14. Let me look this one up real quick. Okay, 14, assurance. Okay, remain steady and be assured you are doing exactly what you are supposed to do. You might be seeing small signs that things, situations, and desires are just beginning to fall into place. Your focus and skills are intact. You will feel motivated in work areas and therefore make good inroads on your usual work. New ways of dealing with things will occur to you. Fresh perspectives will appear. And as a result, your life will move towards harmony and balance. Trust yourself. You have everything you need. Oh, that's a great message. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Great. So that is your reading for December 2017. And be sure and subscribe so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Check for your rising and moon signs as they come available. And, um, and be sure and um, if anyone wants a private reading, just check my rates and contact info there below. Okay, and have a great December. Happy holidays. And we'll do this again soon, uh, Capricorn.